Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And let us try to understand how to run phi coefficient in SPSS. Phi coefficient, sometimes called also known as a mean square contingency coefficient, is a measure of the association between two binary variables. Phi coefficient can take any value between minus 1 to 1. Minus 1 indicates a perfectly negative relationship between the two variables. 0 indicates no association between two variables. 1 indicates perfectly positive relationship between the two variables. The data file which we will consider for this analysis is poll underscore cs underscore sample which is available in the samples folder of SPSS. It will be available on your system also. The variables which we are considering for our analysis is gender and vote last. We have to ensure that both of them are on the binary scale which means that they have been coded as 1 and 0. Let us check it. So male is coded as zero, female is coded as one. Okay. The second variable should also be coded in the same way, zero and one. The next thing which you have to check is the level that is a measure. They both should be on the nominal scale. Now we'll go and analyze descriptive statistics cross steps. We'll transfer gender into the row last voted into column. We'll click on statistics. Make sure phi and grammar's V is checked. Continue. Click OK. And we have got the result. I'll copy this result in the word file. Let us write the interpretation. Voting and gender are positively associated with each other. This is our research hypothesis. Our null hypothesis will be there is no significant association between voting and gender. The alternative will be there is a significant association between voting and gender. Again, we will have to see the p-value of phi coefficient. It is 0.325. So we will write the interpretation as as the p-value of the phi coefficient is 0.325 which is more than 5% level of significance. So we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no significant association between voting and gender. This means that when we talk about this table, male have equally not voted in comparison to the female who has not voted. Similarly, male who has equally voted are more or less similar to the female who have voted. So there is no polarization which has happened and that's the reason we find no association between the gender and the last voting. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe the channel.